A little while ago, mm. um, we met on this site. It's like, um, like an STD site. What STD? Yeah. So how these sites? It's sort of like they help you to meet people, and like you're all on the same page. So it's not like oh, I've heard of these. Yeah, I got you. there are dating sites specifically for people that have STDs. I learned about that on one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. So you're, you have, so you have something, and you're getting with somebody else who you know they know what you have, and he they have it too. That type of thing. Yeah, so it's like kind of out in the open. You know what I mean? Like you're not trying to hide anything. Yeah. So what what did uh. I mean, okay. since, uh, since you're going to get personal. Uh, oh, yeah. They met on a site for people with STDs. What, what was your STD uh, mm. of choice? Uh, of choice. Um, I don't know if I want to disclose that. I mean, is it, is it something like low level, a little higher? Maybe, like, okay. maybe something she like HPV. She doesn't want to talk about it. Some herpes, gonorrhea. Uh, what are you talking okay. about? Chlamydia. Chlamydia. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's more like low level. It's not like, you know, a huge issue or anything. Now, what about him? <laughs> Uh, yeah, similar. Yeah. Crabs? Ramiro! A crab? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Move on. I have a friend who had crabs. He said they literally looked like little crabs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ew! Don't Stop ever it. tell me which Eddie, friend. It's too sure early it for this. Sure. Oh, it you know don't him. ever tell you know me. Him. I don't uh, want to know. What's up, Justin? Is it right, fatty? Anyway. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, okay, so you guys met on the STD side. Go ahead. Yeah, so he's really cool. Like, Gene is, like, a cool dude. Like, we've hung out a few times. Like, we just get along really well. I've made him some food. Like, everything's going, like, super well. And then, like, recently I've been hitting him up, and, like, he just hasn't been returning my call. So, like, I don't know what is up, but I just want you guys to, like, call him and and find out. Well, listen, we're going to call this gentleman next, and then we'll see if we can get you guys back together. Now back to the second date update on the 10. With Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. We just spoke to Emma. Nice girl. She met Jean through a dating site for people with STDs. So that way they get together. Melissa, have you been on this site? <laughs> Okay, why would you ask me that first up? The answer is no. I do not have an because, STD. Well, you've tried everything else. I'm just, <laughs> uh, no. I, I, listen. Well, hold on. Emma, do you need to actually have one oh, to, here we go. To, to be on the site? Like, well, it could, could be acceptance. Yeah, could it be mm-hmm. like, I don't have one, but I, I'm willing to date some? Because that could open up a whole new pool for you, Melissa. Romero, <laughs> I, I think I'm good. You think you're good? I appreciate it. I think I'm good. All right, well, listen. Well, after we get done with trying to call this guy, we'll just have you pass the information on to Melissa. Okay. You know, off air. Let's call <laughs> him, please. All right, all right, all right. Emma, are you there still? I'm still here. All right, stay quiet, ma'am. Uh, we're going to call Gene now. Hang on. Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? <laughs> Is this Gene? Yeah, who's this? Gene, uh, okay, sorry for waking you up. It's uh, Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from uh, Hot 96.9, a radio station. And th- we're calling you because, uh, well, just listen. I know it sounds weird, but w- this is a good thing. Somebody gave us your number to call you because they like you and they want to go on a date with you, okay? It's a female that you know, so I'm going to tell you her name. But first, let me tell you what we're offering. Basically, if you say yes to a date with her, We'll pay for wherever you want to go. Like, you pick the restaurant, you pick whenever you're free, and we'll pay for everything. You eat and drink your ass off if you want. And, you know, just just to see if you guys click, because she thinks that you guys have a connection. So does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no that, that sounds real good. But I ain't got to work for it. Yeah, now he's awake. No, no, all you got to do, I'm going to tell you her name, and you say yes or no. That's basically it. All right. All right. Her name is Emma. You already went out with her before. And oh, she... man. <laughs> he didn't say no. He didn't say oh, no. man. Okay. So, yeah. So, Emma was. 
She was. She told us how you guys met. She said you went on a great date. She's confused because she feels as if you had a good connection and you're not calling her back. She's confused. I'm confused. Bitch trying to kill me. <laughs> How'd she try to kill um... you? Um. Look, she's a she's a cool chick, but she keeps trying to feed me into a slow death, man. <laughs> she she's in what? culinary school, baking and learning how to make sweet which is good for most people but she keeps feeding me all this sweet shit and I got diabetes man what? what? yes and I told Wait. her this but why can't you just say no Gene I don't understand oh no 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 I do say no but then she gives me guilt trips because she like needs to try it on somebody and like it's her best dessert and like you need to support me it's that support shit and the last time, like, I honestly thought I was going to die. I started hyperventilating after she ate. She brought some cookies over, and I only ate some shit because she was guilt tripping me. And then she left, and I started blacking out. Like, it's scary. <laughs> Maybe you should And I just... love how we're just laughing at his expense. Yeah, well, he's still alive. Maybe you should oh just. Oh, my God. You know what? How about this? I want to help you out. Emma happens to be on the phone right now, and, and you can explain this to her in a nice way. Emma. Those were the best freaking buttercream cookies I'd ever made. I just wanted you to have a bite. Like, I didn't know you are going to black out. And Emma, you made me eat, like, five of them. It's not, it's, it's not cute even more. It's life-threatening. Don't you have a pen you can just, like, stab in your thigh or something? Uh, uh, bitch, no! <laughs> I mean, I can, like, try to use other flour, you know, like almond flour, coconut flour, but, like... Emma, 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 look, I try to tell you before, like, I dig you, but you downright just rude now because you pushing stuff on me, and that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Like, we're talking about my health. Yeah, but this is, like, my dream, you know, and, like, I'm really good at freaking baking. Okay, well, how about this? You guys go on a nice dinner date that we'll pay for. Emma, you see how Gene reacts to eating other stuff. Maybe instead of always pounding desserts, maybe, uh, Gene, could you agree to perhaps – once or twice a month of putting your life in, in, in Emma's hands? Man, I'm sorry, y'all. It's like, I can't do that. You know what? F*** this shit. Like, I don't need this sort of, like, backlash for my dreams. Like, I know there's going to be a guy out there who's willing to eat my pound cake, my cookies, and it's okay with me having chlamydia, so there. <laughs> there you go. Keep your head up. Tomorrow on the second date update on the 10. All right, listen, John, you're going to meet John tomorrow. And John does online dating, and he, he apparently in his profile he leaves out a a small detail, but apparently it's a big detail, and you're gonna find out what that is, and you're gonna find out not to make the mistake that John made, or else you'll be talking to us. Second date update on the tens tomorrow. Yeah.